Good morning. Robert Davis back with you here. Um, it's Thursday morning about 6.30 ish. And uh, this morning we're going to update it to the last tutorial that we did on uh, the parameterized query in Delphi. We're going to add a step and I'm going to show you how that's done. So let's get started. We're going to go to the absolute database manager here and I'm going to reopen quotations database and on the orders table what we did is add a quantity which is a float because you could have one and a half or um, whatever so you can be specific on the quantity and then we updated the application with this information so let's go over there and we'll close this so we don't get any exclusive lock and minimize that go to delphi open our quotations project and here we have it uh, and I'll show you on ABS table 2 we added the quantity field is what we did and we'll show you how that well let's look at this code first um, what we did is change the SQL query to select some amount times quantity as amount from orders where quotation ID equals cust ID which we loaded right here from table one that's where the record pointer is at at the current time so let's run this and see what we've got I see um, we've got a multiple quantity here two of six hundred and if you use your calculator or do the math stubby pencil you come up with this total and it writes it permanently to the uh, quotations table that has the demographics in it and we can go over here see the same thing use your little calculator and you'll come up with this number um, the default is one a quantity of one you have to have a quantity um, but I didn't make that uh, true for required uh, just for brevity's sake and you can do the math here and you get this 260.99 again stored in the main table per quotation um, and you can have multiple uh, quotations per client I don't know how this got up here CAC so we'll post that Okay. And you see our parameterized query works the same as it did, only it takes into account the quantity. So yeah, this one would be twelve hundred plus twelve fifty ninety nine is twenty so let's look at the code again just so you can get your head around this SQL query. It's very simple. Um, this is, let me show you. This is all I added to the query. I didn't change anything else because we now have a quantity field in the orders table. In the next tutorial I'll do if everything works out right, I'm going to show you how to use, uh, how to add supplier uh, 
to the order item using a button on the DB grid. And uh, we'll check that out in the next tutorial. So listen, I've really enjoyed spending this time on this little update. Uh, and it makes it a little more fun with uh, having a quantity field. And and if you like these videos, um, please like and subscribe and click the notification bell so you're notified any time I add a new tutorial or new video. So thanks for watching. Again, I'm Robert Davis. And y'all have a great day. And uh, the weekend's on its way. So bye for now. Mm -hmm.